Jeff, you sent me an article earlier. Yes. And uh, I want to I wanted to bring that up on the call here because it looked like there's some good opportunity for us as transactional engineers to capitalize coming up in the future. What did that look like? This is the uh, the hidden deal out there that nobody is really talking about, and and I would argue that most people don't even know about. And it came out on Market Watch, CBS Market Watch today. And the title of the article is "This Widening Crack in the Mortgage Market Could Sink U.S. Home Prices." It has nothing to do with the economy, has nothing to do with interest rates. It's the, what's called the re-default rate. Uh, back in 2008 and nine, and I guess early 10, when we had the Great Recession. You know, a lot of people fell behind on their home prices and stopped making payments. And that's what caused the housing prices to drop. About 8 million of those were reset or reconfigured, rejiggered, whatever you want to call it. They modified. Were yeah, modified. But there was this, this other version that didn't meet the traditional, you know, there was this big thing to get them modified under the FHA rules which was eight and a half million or something like that. But there was also, and nobody ever talks about it, 17 million other modifications they, they fall in the other category twice as much total of 20 it was actually combined with everything was about 25 million mortgages if you can believe that that had some type of forbearance restructure modification something going on um, they found out that within a year or two some of those people started re-defaulting this is why in our, we never could figure out why our REO business, there's never been a drop in volume. In fact, sometimes it keeps going up. And the argument was, well, you know, 10 years ago, they, you know, they, they took so many houses back that they had the inventory and all that. That's not what really has happened. What's really been happening is the default rate on modif modifications aren't going through the normal foreclosure process. These are basically off the book defaults that nobody knows uh. about. They found out now that depending on what category you're looking at, 50 to 60% of those loans have been re-defaulting and are treading water. And some of these guys have had a second and a third modification. The banks yeah. now are basically at the end of this thing and they're saying, we're cutting them off. Yeah, they're expecting yeah. a huge, you know, what we would call foreclosure. These are kind of hidden foreclosure deals out there. What this is, is basically a huge chunk of the market, the largest chunk of the market. There's more properties that will be in this category than there are for sale on the MLS combined that don't have, there's, there's not a tell out there. There's not a place we can go and find out where they're at or anything like that. These will be kind of off the book um, mortgage deals where the lender is talking to these folks, not putting them yet into foreclosure, but these are desperate sellers that nobody knows about and arguably desperate sellers with equity. I would think that when you read between the lines, and we'll post this article out there, but when you read between the lines, I think what's happening, and we've talked about this in the past as well, as a result of the last Great Recession, Congress passed a whole bunch of legislation, and various states did, to no longer allow lenders to be enriched from their bad acts. In other words, a lender couldn't take back a house and keep the equity. In most cases, I had to go back and, and that type of thing. I think the lenders are going to be putting pressure on Congress, especially depending on who wins a year from now's election. They'll put a huge, tremendous amount of pressure on Congress to modify those laws to allow them to enrich themselves because of their bad acts again. And I think there'll be a lot of favor in Congress this time to do so. Um, what you've got in the meantime is you probably got as many as 12 to 14 million homes out there with a distress seller that are off everybody's radar and are probably ideal for our clients to pick up. Yeah, it's probably yeah. an ideal business just to go in just to look for that product out there, that type of product. It's probably the yeah. biggest single, at any point in time, there could be 500 to 600,000 homes that would be qualified as a rehabable type home. In other words, highly discounted homes by the most motivated seller that they're willing to sell, sell for cheap because they got equity, five to 600,000. This thing could be 30 or 40 times that number today that nobody knows about.